Albert Einstein, a name synonymous with genius, a physicist whose theories revolutionized science, yet his life, marked by brilliance, was also shadowed by the rising tide of hatred in Nazi Germany. Today, we explore how the Nazis used Einstein as a public target and how it altered the course of his life forever. Born in Ulm, Germany in 1879, Albert Einstein showed early signs of curiosity and intelligence, yet he struggled in traditional Prussian schooling, even being told by one teacher he will never amount to anything. It's a stark contrast to the genius he would later become. In his teenage years, Einstein developed a passion for physics and mathematics, fields where he would leave an indelible mark. By 1905, while working as a patent clerk in Bern, Switzerland, Einstein published his groundbreaking papers on the photoelectric effect, Brownian motion, and special relativity. These works not only earned him acclaim, but redefined the very fabric of physics. Scientists and academics around the world celebrated his brilliance. Despite his successes, Einstein remained deeply introspective, often contemplating not just science, but humanity's place in the universe. Einstein's work brought him into close collaboration with another scientific titan, Max Planck. Together, they advanced quantum theory, sparking a golden age of German science. These discussions weren't just academic, they were pivotal moments in the evolution of modern physics. Planck deeply rooted in German academia, recognized Einstein's genius and defended his revolutionary ideas. This mutual respect led to a lifelong friendship, even as the world around them began to crumble. In the 1930s, Adolf Hitler's rise to power unleashed a storm of anti-Semitism and oppression. Joseph Goebbels, the Nazi minister of propaganda, spearheaded an aggressive campaign against Jews and intellectuals, with Einstein becoming one of their most prominent targets. Goebbels orchestrated a relentless smear campaign, branding Einstein a traitor to Germany. His theories, including relativity, were labeled subversive and incompatible with Nazi ideology. In a chilling act of censorship, Nazi authorities banned Einstein's books and included them in public burnings. Goebbels' propaganda went further, placing Einstein on a hit list and publishing caricatures portraying him as an enemy of the state. The pressure on Einstein intensified when his Berlin home was raided and his bank accounts were frozen. With a price placed on his head and constant threats to his life, Einstein realized he could no longer remain in Germany. In 1933, Einstein made the heart-wrenching decision to leave his homeland. Renouncing his German citizenship, he sought refuge in the United States. In the United States, Einstein found refuge and a platform to continue his work. He joined the Institute for Advanced Study at Princeton, a hub for the brightest minds of the time. Despite finding safety, Einstein carried the weight of those left behind in Nazi Germany, especially his fellow Jewish scientists. He used his fame to speak out against fascism and to help rescue other intellectuals targeted by the Nazis. But his focus wasn't solely on physics. Einstein became an outspoken advocate for civil rights, supporting efforts to combat racism in America. He also took a stand against war, becoming a vocal critic of militarism and a proponent of global peace. Einstein's experiences with anti-Semitism in Germany and the Holocaust strengthened his ties to the Jewish people. He believed that all Jews were one people, regardless of nationality. Einstein supported the idea of a Jewish homeland in Palestine, but he was against the creation of a Jewish state. He believed that a Jewish state would lead to conflict with the Arabs and that Zionism would fail if Jews dominated Arabs in Palestine. In 1952, Israeli President Chaim Weizmann asked Einstein to be Israel's second president, but Einstein declined. He said he lacked the experience and ability to deal with people and was moved by the offer but saddened and ashamed that he could not accept. In 1939, as fears grew that Nazi Germany might develop nuclear weapons, Einstein co-signed a letter to President Franklin D. Roosevelt. Written by physicist Leo Szilard, 
This letter urged the U.S. to accelerate its atomic research. The result was the Manhattan Project. Einstein's role in the project was indirect. He did not work on the bomb's development. Yet, its creation weighed heavily on him. When the bombs were dropped on Hiroshima and Nagasaki, Einstein was devastated. He later remarked, I made one great mistake in my life when I signed the letter to President Roosevelt. Haunted by the consequences of nuclear warfare, Einstein dedicated his later years to advocating for peace and disarmament. He worked tirelessly to promote international cooperation and prevent the proliferation of nuclear weapons. In 1955, Einstein co-authored the Russell-Einstein Manifesto, calling for nations to resolve conflicts through dialogue rather than destruction. This legacy of peace became as enduring as his contributions to science. Albert Einstein's story is one of resilience and redemption. From the genius who fled Nazi persecution to a voice for peace in a divided world, Einstein's legacy endures not only in science, but in his unwavering belief in humanity. Thank you for joining us at the 5-Minute History Channel. We hope you learned something on this journey through Einstein's life. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more stories of extraordinary lives and extraordinary events.